Does your dog walk you or do you walk your dog? As a dog owner, I am sure you have experienced your dog pulling you through the neighborhood for one reason or another. My name is Desiree and today we are comparing collars and harnesses to see which one is more effective for your pulling dog. I know that the debate about collar versus harnesses seems to be pretty much cut and dry with many pet owners. Harnesses are better and that's that. But what if there's a side to this argument that you have not considered? Let me begin with a brief history of the dog harness. Did you know that dog harnesses were originally invented centuries ago so that dogs could pull heavy carts more effectively? Dogs played a major role in the special deployment areas. Of course, only the strongest dogs were deployed for such duties and harnesses were invented to help ensure that these dogs would be able to carry out their duties more effectively. Dogs continued to be deployed for work and hence the harness continued to be used well into the American gold rush in 1849. By this time, dogs had a different but very similar job. They were now deployed for the pulling of sleds, which was similar to the role they played during battle in pulling carts. Harnesses are still helping dogs carry out rescue missions as well as transport medical supplies. As you can see, harnesses played a critical role in encouraging dogs to pull. So contrary to what appears to be the norm these days, harnesses were actually originally invented not to stop dogs from pulling, but to help them do a better and more effective job of pulling. Based on this understanding, therefore, the notion that collar versus harness debate is an open and shut case might be a little too hasty. Harnesses are not the one-stop solution to dog pulling that they're often made out to be. Going by their original design, they are supposed to give dogs the comfort they need to pull more effectively thanks to the even distribution of weight across their chest. They weren't exactly created to stop dogs from pulling. The truth that most people are unwilling to accept is that most dogs will not be corrected with a harness, especially when a dog feels a tug or pressure from the leash that is attached to that harness. You only give them more comfort and encouragement that they need to pull harder. So if harnesses are not the solution, how are collars any better? And that's a great question to ask considering the many arguments between collar and harness safety. But first, if you're finding value in this video, consider subscribing to our channel and click that bell notification so that you are notified anytime we post new content. Now, the truth is that some collars may be dangerous for your dog. Fitting your dog and training him with the wrong collar could be terrible for your dog. You definitely do not want to get him anything that's going to result in an injury, be hazardous, or uncomfortable for your dog. By the way, harnesses don't exactly walk away completely guilt-free from this part of the conversation. Harnesses can get real uncomfortable for dogs, especially in the summer. They can also cause chafing around the elbows, which is quite painful for dogs. But the truth is, collars might be a much better option for you if you're actually looking to correct a dog from pulling as opposed to just managing it, which is the result a harness is most likely going to get you. You probably already know that dogs should not be wearing a harness 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And if they're not fitted well, that they could even cause your dog to lose his natural gait. Or even worse, your dog could back out of his harness and get away from you. Collars, on the other hand, can be worn all day, every day, indoor and outdoor. And as long as you get the right type and size of collar for your kind of dog, your dog should not suffer any kind of discomfort. Being able to clip the leash to your dog in a moment's notice is a breeze with having a collar on 24 seven. A harness on the other hand, ugh, we'll see for yourself. even mentioned the fact that collars are way less expensive and allow you to display information about you and your dog should they ever get lost. You can't achieve this with the harness. So what collars are best for training dogs that are constantly pulling? 
If you really want to correct your dog's pulling behavior, then you want to get him a martingale style collar. And there are several reasons to do that. Martingale style collars feature two loops with the first resembling a regular flat collar. This part is adjustable and goes around your dog's neck. The second loop where you attach the leash is the part used for control. Martingale collars are safe, but at the same time, very effective for both puppies and adult dogs. If your dog has a pulling problem, then the slight discomfort that Martingale collar provides when pulled would help put them back on track so that they know what is expected of them when on a leash. And for dogs who are easily distracted or are escape artists, Martingale collars will keep them in check as they will be unable to slip out of such collars. Another thing that's great for Martingale style collars is that they work with a wide range of dog breeds. Even though they were originally created for dogs with narrower necks and heads, such as a Greyhound or a Whippet, Martingale collars have grown to become more commonly used by dog owners of all kinds of dogs, especially those who are looking to gain more control over the leash. Of course, Martingale style collars are not the be all end all of dog training. You need to use them together with effective training techniques for your dog to truly benefit from them. This is why you must not solely rely on a single device to transform your dog into a truly obedient and well-trained dog. It is the humans who train, not the training device. But if you have a puller on your hands and must pick between a harness and a martingale style collar, make no mistake about it. You have a better chance of correcting the negative behavior with a martingale style collar than with a harness. If you really want to master raising a wonderful canine companion, then watch this next video and until next time, bye.